Hi there, so today we're doing stuffed peppers. Um, we're going to need some core ingredients for this. But before we start anything else, I want to make sure my work surface is clear. I'm going to remove any jewellery, so that's out of the way. I'm going to get my hands washed. Okay, you've got long hair, make sure your hair's tied back, and if you are able to put an apron on, it's also a good idea to get an apron put on. Now, we're going to need some core ingredients to make this. So your basic ingredients, we're going to need uh, one large red pepper, 100 grams of um, dried rice, I've got a small tin of chopped tomatoes, about 200 grams of chopped tomatoes, and some tomato puree. We also have some additional items that you might want to use to flavor your meal even more. So I've got 50 grams of grated cheddar. I've also got some green olives, some pesto, some garlic salt, and some Italian mixed herbs. So that's my five additional items that I might use to further flavor and enhance my meal. Okay, before we start anything else, I've already got my oven on to 180 degrees, that's preheating, and I've got two pans of water on the boil. The first thing I want to do before I start, it, start now is get my dried rice into one of those pans of water and cook it according to its packet instructions. So I'm going to put that on there, that should be slowly simmering away, uh, ready for us to use in a little bit. The second thing I need to do is I need to prepare my pepper. Now it's going to be a stuffed pepper, so what I want to do is I want to try and remove the lid to create a fairly large opening inside. So again, care for the fingers, making sure your fingers are holding either side of the knife but away from the sharp edge. Uh, if you get that right, you should just be able to twist gently and remove that section of the pepper. We also want to make sure that we've removed any of the seeds that are inside. So simmer. I'm just going to pop that in there and that is going to soften up over the next five or ten minutes. Okay, so while my pepper's cooking, I'm just going to prepare some of my olives. Um, I've got ones that haven't been seeded already. You can actually get some ones that have already had the pit taken out. It's just a little bit easier. And I'm just going to cut around the pit. And I'm going to use three or four of these olives. Okay, after about five minutes, my stuffed pepper should be about ready. I should have softened up enough, so I'm going to very carefully remove that from the water. Bearing in mind the water is still going to be really hot. I'm going to leave that just on the side. Put this back out. Leave that just on the side to dry for the moment. Don't need this pan anymore, so we'll get rid of this one. After about 12 to 15 minutes, your rice should be just about cooked. You can check it by taking a small amount of rice out there and it should break without too much uh, pressure between your teeth but it shouldn't feel mushy if it's mushy then it's been cooked that little bit too long you want it just so it's got a little bit of bite still left in it so we can get that pan turned off for the moment and we are going to drain this in a colander and once drained we turn it back to the pan Out there. Now, for the flavouring, so we've got our tomatoes, a whole 200 grams are going in there. That's going to give it the tomatoey taste, but to add a bit more punch, about add a bit more richness to that tomato flavour, we're also going to add some tomato puree. So it's going to add extra tomato richness to it. I'm going to use one and a bit of tablespoons there. Now that's the key ingredients. If you want to add some additional ingredients to add some extra flavour, then I'm going to use a sprinkling of garlic salt. That 
that's going to give it a little bit more of obviously a garlicky flavour. To add a bit more of a herby flavour to it, I'm going to use some Italian herbs. Almost adding it like it's salt and pepper. And to give it a bit of a nutty and herby texture, I'm also going to add a tablespoon, a good tablespoon of green pesto and my olives. They're all going to go and get mixed in there. I'm going to turn my pan back on to a medium low heat and stir that through. Now, all we're trying to do is work warm through the ingredients as we mix it in. Now to get my pepper ready, it's that simple. I'm going to move my cutting board out of the way. The pepper simply going, make sure it's fully drained out. The pepper's going in the middle of that baking tray. I'm going to give that two minutes just to warm through, and then we're just going to stuff that pepper with as much of the filling as we can get in there. Give it a little stir. Turn my hob off, and I'm going to fill this pepper with as much of the filling as I can get in there. Sprinkle a little bit of cheese over the top for the moment. This is now going to go into the oven for about 20 minutes. Watch the oven as you open it, it has been on, so there will be some heat coming out of it. And it's a good chance to clear up any of your mess at this stage now. Don't get rid of your extra filling because we can use that as part of the side dish and presentation on the side. Okay, after about 10 minutes, we're going to take it back out of the oven, we're going to add a little bit more cheese. So we're just going to sprinkle a bit more cheese on the top there. Another five minutes, we'll have a nice baked stuffed pepper. Now I'm going to think, starting to think about how I'm going to present this. So I'm going to have my stuffed pepper on there. I've also got some of my rice left over. So I'm going to add to that into a small dish. I'm going to pack this in. Get it nice and flat on the bottom. and use that as a mould for some rice that's going to go just on the side there. So after a final five minutes of cooking, the pepper is going to be perfectly cooked. Uh, we just be careful taking it out of the oven, obviously it's still going to be hot. I'm going to get a fish slice to remove it to the plate and very carefully remove the mould off the top of the rice so it keeps its shape. And a final bit of garnishing with some grated cheese. And there we go, we have peppers stuffed with pesto, olives and rice.